guys, it's not often that you guys have a score to settle or get revenge on somebody. But here in UNLV, you have it. What do you remember about the two games last year and how those went down? Well, we start with you, uh, Well, like always, they're always going to be close games. And I know we lost uh, the last three times to them. So I'm not expecting nothing to be uh, nothing but a close game again coming tomorrow. You know, you know, he's a great team. He's got to come out, uh, get ready, and match their intensity. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, they lost. I know we as a school lost the last three. Um, I was a part of the last two, and uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Um, so we're just gonna approach it like every other game. Get ourselves prepared. Um, get ourselves in. Uh, the right mind frame and uh, just come out and try to get a win tomorrow. I, I remember when I was walking, looking back at the tape, I remember Birch, he was doing the everyone be quiet move. I mean, you, no one likes to see that in their own building. Do you, do you remember that moment? You remember sitting there going, what, what just happened here? Uh, yeah, I remember it. And, uh, you know, like anything else, I just try to uh, take those things and add as fuel to my fire. And, uh, but I'm not you know, going to focus on that or, you know, that's what happened last year. And uh, this is a new year, a new day, and a new game. So we're just going to worry about the one and uh, make sure those type of things can't happen tomorrow. But I also say, too, X, you know, you, you kind of you want to get this done for, you know, not just, you know, your group, but the guys who were here over the last couple of years who've had to go through losing them. This is almost one of those games where you want to get done for them, too. Uh, you know, kind of, sort of, but we just worry about ourselves right now. You know, we're not trying to think about what happened in the past. Like Winston said, we got to focus on the game tomorrow. That's at hand. That's what we're going to do and prepare for uh, practice today. Have you guys had a chance to watch from yet? Or? Yeah, we watched. Uh, you watched the play. Mm-hmm. No, we just watched players. I'm sure we'll watch a lot more today. Okay. Well, were you guys surprised at all about that game? I mean, they lost two straight at home, then they go on the road to the pit. And just that from a, as a player, I mean, you guys know after losing a the game, then out of nowhere winning a big game like that at the pit, um, they got to have high confidence. Uh, so now, I mean, what are you expecting out of them? Well, to me, it's not surprising at all. I mean, uh, if you look at UNLV's roster, they have two McDonald's All Americans. Um, they have a lot of good guys that are good players. Um, they have some great coaches. My old high school coach is a coach there. So I'm not surprised at all. And, uh, you know, when you have good players, <clears throat> they're starting to put it together. So uh, we're definitely going to take them serious and uh, just try to come out and play hard as we can. From, from, from the games you have, seen, I mean, what, what stands about from this year? I mean, they lost a lot of guys, kind of a different team, but um, what really stands out about them on the uh, film? You know, they get out and transition real well. You know, they're one of the best transition teams in the country, I think, you know, with Birch running the floor, Roscoe running the floor, and, you know, Bryce. You know, he gets a lot of transition buckets, so we got to um, watch out for that. And also the rebounding. Roscoe, I think, is leading the nation in rebounding, and Birch is also a good rebounder. So those are the two things, you know, we really got to focus on. With, with Coach Hudson just coming from there just last year, um, has it helped at all? I mean, in practice, does he kind of have a, a, a game plan ready for this? Or you guys feel like prepared? Not, not more than any other team. And uh, like I said, we're not trying to get into any – peripheral battles or things like that. We just want to come out and uh, play and uh, get the job done. But uh, Coach Hushin and the rest of our coaching staff has, and I'm sure they're going to have a great game plan, just as every other game. It's, uh, I know it's UNLV, it's a rivalry game, but we're trying not to get too much into that. We just want to come out and win and play the next game. Axia, both your, both your teams have similar makeups in that there are a lot of transfers on them. One thing that you guys have been able to do well is integrate your transfers. They're maybe starting to do that a little bit, but obviously they struggled with chemistry early in the season. Is that kind of underrated with transfers of how well a staff can get these guys from different places to come together? Uh, you know, I really don't look into all that, but, you know, Bryce transferred. He's playing well. You know, all the other guys that transferred, they're doing well right now. So I think they're starting to click, you know, at the right time when it's conference play for UNLV. So that's a good thing for them. But like I said, we're just, we just got to worry about ourselves and the game tomorrow ahead. Well, I'll put it in a different way. Do you think this staff does a really good job bringing in transfers and getting to, to, you've been here a long time, mm-hmm. fit with the chemistry of the team already? 
Josh this year. You know, JJ came in mm. uh, a couple years ago. Dwayne, mm. James Johnson. Yeah, I think I think uh, the coaching staff does a good job at that. You know, recruiting guys, different things like that. So that's you got to give all the credit to Coach Fish, uh, Dutcher, Little Fish, Dave, all those guys. So I think they have done a pretty good job over the years of getting transfers. Um, I don't know how much I can add to that, but uh, I would say that UNLV has done a good job as well. You know, like I said, they've brought in two former McDonald's All-Americans. They brought in a guy that started on the national championship team. Um, that sounds pretty good to me, you know. And uh, But Coach Fisher and our, and our staff, they're real selective about who we bring in. There's a lot of guys that want to transfer in last year, and they're uh, real selective. So I think that helps too. But uh, UNLV does a great job as well. Just, to, just out of interest but last week, have your friends or family who've tried to you know, watch you guys and watch the game, have they been able to watch it on ESPN? For, they say they're able to be able to tune in. My parents have, and uh, my friends and family back home in Texas have said they've been able to uh, get it up on the internet as well. So I don't think there's been too many problems. I've heard a couple things that some people might have had trouble or, or whatnot, but uh, my people have been able to check it out. Yeah, all my uh, family and friends, you know, got to uh, watch the game. Uh, <coughs> also, you got the Xbox Live now, so you could watch it on the Xbox. So most of my friends back at home watching on the Xbox. So everybody uh, got to watch the game and there was no trouble with it. How has this uh, rivalry, I guess, kind of grown on you uh, since you've been here? Um, this will probably be the last time you face my home, too. Um, well, what's this game kind of mean to you just in terms of the history of it? Uh, well, it's a big game. Just like every other game is a big game, you know. You know, we as a rival team, I've been going at it with them for the past three years now. So I'm just looking forward to the challenge. You know, like I said, they beat us the last three times. So we just got to come out and try to get this win.